Okay, I guess we're back. Promised you guys an update on the house, and uh, it's pretty windy out here, and there's a lot of traffic, so I don't know how good the audio is going to be. So I'm trying to stay close to the mic. The first thing I wanted to show you guys was mainly I took some pictures the other day of some stuff that happened. So what was I talking about last time? I was leveling up my uh, digging, mining. I don't remember what the fuck I said in my last video. Anyway, I've been working on a retaining wall. I might have showed you a picture of what it looked like before. I think I've got one anyway. I'll show you. That. And then uh, <clears throat> I'll show you what it looks like now. But I just decided I want to do a little extra work to it because I want it to kind of like separate and become two walls. All right, so here's what it looks like now. Now I got these kind of stones here that everybody uses. And I got these flat ones on the top. These are going to be like a bench. You can sit on them. Nice bench sitting height, right? And then I've been working on this back part. I'm going to like put another layer behind it. Kind of like a backrest or whatever. The, the ground comes up higher. So see how it's kind of a little bit higher right there. I'm going to try to level this ground out. That's why I'm putting all this dirt right here. And then making it come even to the wall, the top of the wall. I've got to remove this old stump, which I've got a guy that's supposed to come down here with a backhoe and stuff. Uh, pretty remarkable thing about all this crap is all these rocks, all those, those over there. These are ones I've been painting. These are like my, my edgers. So I painted a bunch of them metallic gold. Some of them are kind of copperish red for the flower bed in the front. These are going to like line my walkways. But all of those rocks, all this gravel and crap I've been hauling in buckets in the back of my car, which is a little Saturn Ion. So, it's pretty much beat and probably going to fall apart pretty soon. I also got this stump over here. I need to get dug out. So this guy with the backhoe will probably do all this stuff for like 50 bucks, less than an hour. So I'm going to take you around to the front now. <clears throat> it's going to be really loud. Basically, I'm just going to show you where I've been digging out the stump and this little circle to put those gold bricks. This is my tomato garden. It's going to be right here in the carport. When I was digging it up, I found this little thing here. This bitch. Over here's where I've been, uh, I tried to dig out these old bushes. It's like a big clump. I actually tried burning them out at one point. So there's some ashes around. There's one over here on this side. So then right along this sidewalk here will be the gold pathway which I'll eventually redo this sidewalk with some kind of stone clad it in stone sort of so right in here I've been digging these old landscaping rocks that are in here like potatoes because wherever they did before they have like these plants here all this was covered in landscaping rock and it grew over it over the years so it's all dirt but you can't plant on it because it's all rock underneath so I got to dig all the rocks up Here's where I was kind of cleaning out last year, cutting these old trees, like this kind of a tree here. I left this one because it was pretty big, but I just consider them weeds. Trees like this, this like holly looking thing, and this cedar I left, but that cedar's too close to this tree, so I'm probably going to transplant it down to the pond. Because the pond's already too muddy and slick and stuff anyway, I need something to hold the ground in. This is interesting. This wooden walkway here, it's kind of old. See, it's like the wood gets wet and moldy. So I plan on taking this whole thing down and extending this concrete pad all the way across to there. So it's like an eight foot by seven foot pad. And then I'm gonna take all this wood red shit off, replace it with brick, maybe. And then I'm going to build a barbecue grill, maybe like a three-in-one with a pizza oven and an indirect heat smoker or something like that. And then I'm going to uh, tile it all because I have all this tile in my basement from when I moved in. So, how am I going to get the bricks, you say? Well, let's take a walk back down here to the old shed that was going to be my blacksmithing forge. Here's the pond. It's still doing well. There's a tree right there, you may notice, that has fallen down that uh, it was already old and kind of started to fall so I chopped it off and it fell but it didn't fall over so I had to like wait a few days and look really push on it and stuff here's all the other landscaping rocks I've dug up by the way I've been dumping them here for now and then here's my brick collection all this in the back of my car load at a time basically I found this old building that got torn down 
I was going to be bulldozed into a gutter near where I work. And I just like, every now and then I'd come home from work, I'd put a load in the back of the trunk, take them home, stack them up. I got all these salvaged bricks, a bunch of railroad spikes and shit. I do some blacksmithing. Here's some box of glass I found. Got to use these tires for something. I may make like alligator planters or something. Okay, check out these fucking shoes right here, bro. I had a picture of those, but you don't even have to look at them now. Uh, I found them underneath some old tires that I moved over there. Right, they're right here. So it's like, it looks like somebody may have kidnapped a small child or a girl or something, and I don't know, raped and murdered them or something. Left their shoes. Here's my old wood pile, by the way. It's almost all gone. But I'm burning all this wood because a birthday party. I don't have another double 40th birthday party bash next month. I don't want any kids coming and stepping on nails and crap, so I'm trying to burn it all. So I gotta get somebody to come down here and like haul off all this scrap metal, finish burning this wood. So what I've got planned for this right here is I'm thinking maybe a basketball goal right there. But like if I wanted to get crazy, I could put skate ramps on the sides, skate back and forth, but that, that's not gonna happen. Just be realistic. But right here, if you see how there's like these cinder blocks. Like there used to be a wall right here, so I'm going to dig all this out and like make these cinder blocks into the first step and then make stairs that go up this hill to where this thing is and maybe clad that in some kind of like river rocks or something. It'll kind of be like bleachers for the basketball goal. So you'll sit up here and you can watch basketball go on. So that'd be cool. And up here is my campfire. I've been burning all the wood. So I could put like a big porcelain fountain here or <laughs> some bullshit. I probably won't. I just need to rebuild this fire pit. Oh, so here's the really interesting part. Here's why I wanted to make the video. When I was digging in that retaining wall right over there, right in the corner of that wall right there, I found this picture, which was a jar. I'm like, okay, that's weird to find in the, under the ground. Didn't know what to expect. I looked in it and it looked like there was some kind of ashes or something, right? Some kind of sandy, tiny rocks like, I don't know, maybe like human ashes. Maybe somebody had a pet dog. And here's a picture of what it looked like inside. So then, didn't really know what to do. So, came over to this tree and I spread the ashes like around here in the front, like a semicircle. And I put the jar, that's the jar right there, in the crook of this tree. So now this is like, I call it the haunted tree, because I can see it from my kitchen window up there. So if there's a fucking ghost, I'll be able to spot it. I think that's pretty cool. So I level up my necromancy, level up my uh, or construction and building, whatever you want to call it, and mining, because I've been digging the crap out of stuff. Uh, burning wood, I don't think, is a skill. Survival? I don't know. <laughs> scavenging, I've done a lot of scavenging. Holy shit, I've done a lot of scavenging. So, down, oh, I can show you down in there, you can kind of see, I don't want to walk all the way down there, but that's where my garden's going to be, because when the pond gets too full, it overflows. I'm going to walk down there, fuck it. I found like a mole right under here, when I had this sheet metal sitting here. I ended up digging my crap out of my yard, mole trails everywhere. And I saw the ground pulsing one time when I was digging in those stumps. And I, st I got him with a hoe. Here's a picture of that dead mole. I forgot I had one of those too. So, once the pond, if it rains really high, it gets up to that level right there, to the top of that berm, which comes even to that little thing right there. And that lets it drain the excess off down through here. And this kind of runs out and makes like a little flat river delta kind of a thing. So I figured it'd be a good spot for a garden if I was going to do it because it's a nice flat spot. Now this here is a bitch because I don't have a tiller. I don't have any plow or equipment or anything. So I'm just like scraping the grass off with a six dollar shovel. I've got to chop these roots out. And some of the ground that I dug up up there on the retaining wall I dumped down here because it was pretty good dirt. Over on this side, it's a little rockier. I took some of my ashes out of my campfire and brought it down here because it's like uh, tomatoes and some kind of plants like it. Lime. See, so you're still like rock, uh, metal nails and stuff that were in the campfire. I tried to get them all out. I need to get a big magnet or something, I guess. 
But right here, I actually dug up some kind of a plastic bucket or something. I don't remember why or where. There's a big PVC pipe I dug up. Kind of doing a little bit of archaeology too. You know, I'm thinking about doing is putting like a little brig or a brick archway or something like to make that look better. Just kind of put like a little brick house over it. Let it come down into some spillway rocks or something right there. All right, so while I was on my archaeology, I just dug this up. Looks like some kind of Spider-Man memorabilia. I don't know if it came from like a cup or something that was in my front yard. That circle I was digging in, and then like over here. I saw this in that picture earlier. This was a, uh, well, I don't know where the label went, but it was a Pirates of the Caribbean paddle ball. And then there I actually found a little red ball. And then wherever this thing is, I mean, some kind of bearing housing or something. And then a plastic thing. And then this thing, I think this might be like a tall boot. Because this is like leathery something. Now if we can archaeology it real quick. Huh? There was like a brand on it or something. This could be like a rubber mat that was in a car, but it's connected. Yeah, see? See, there's some kind of a tube. Maybe the boot at the bottom of the boot came off. Well, I don't look at the boot. Well, what the fuck this thing is? There's my bird feeder. I've been trying to figure out a place to put it. My paint. This thing is a barbecue grill hood that just appeared next to the road one day. The day after I was on Amazon looking for barbecue grill parts, this showed up right next to my house. Like, it's weird. The universe is just giving me stuff. So like if I make my barbecue grill, it's gonna need a hood probably. So I'll figure out how to make it that size since the universe is saying, hey, here's a barbecue grill hood. So I'm just kinda going with it. Let's go check on the fire. Sometimes the fire, all the wood burns and it kinda falls out. So you gotta push it back into the middle. See, so yeah, I'm turning 40 and about a month. I'm gonna have to like, uh, Subway party sub or something. Maybe make some nachos. Get like a couple of big cakes in the shape of a letter four, number four, and, a, and an O. Yeah. Then end of August. Some people from uh, the Discord chat are gonna come visit. Showstopper and Rogers and Spam song about getting a plane ticket from England coming down. Uh, maybe we fly them. I don't know where they're going to sleep, because I don't even have a bed. I still sleep on the couch. It's just better on my back. That's pretty much what's been going on.